Somebody's gonna drive my Dodge Viper. In fact, I'm gonna one-up that. I'm gonna teach a young person how to drive stick in my Dodge Viper. What's up, people? We are at 10,000 subscribers on Casey Putch's YouTube channel, me, which is really cool. But if that doesn't mean something, then who cares, right? Well, it means something to me, obviously, because you're interested in the content I'm creating. And the content, I'm trying very hard to create a value, give you guys some entertainment, but some wisdom, maybe we can look at new things from a new perspective, whether it's car stuff, car guy related, engineering, education, whatever. And what touches me the most that I've seen in the comments are that older people are watching this channel with their sons or daughters or grandkids or nieces or nephews. And that means a lot because obviously young people are interested in what's going on and the older people dig it too. So let's keep going with doing things that mean something. And today, to celebrate, I want to give something to one of you who are giving something to everybody else out there. So somebody's gonna drive my Dodge Viper. In fact, I'm gonna one up that. I'm gonna teach a young person how to drive stick in my Dodge Viper. And you guys are thinking, well, Casey, you're crazy. That's a crazy car. It has no traction control or ABS. It's expensive to fix. It's hard to fix. Why would you let somebody you don't know learn how to drive it? They might break it. Well, yeah, they might. So? And no, I don't say that because I'm made of money. It's gonna take a lot of time to fix it. I'm gonna have to fix it if it breaks. But here's the thing. One, I actually care about young people in the future. I like cars. And I think it's cool if they get to enjoy that and maybe I get to set an example. So yeah, I'm okay with doing that. Well, Casey, what if they do something crazy and like, you know, go too fast or spin out? No, they're not. They care. They're respectful of themselves, of me, I like to think, the car, somebody else's property, and others. So why wouldn't I let a young person do this? Now that brings me to an interesting topic for today's conversation. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell how young people, how they can apply to potentially get to do a YouTube video with me and learn to drive stick in my Dodge Viper. So I was hanging out with my in-laws a few weeks ago and my father-in-law, really neat guy, engineer, very bright, woodworker, uh, likes the military, you know, st around that. Obviously military aviation, big fan there, airplanes and all that. And he got to, I think it was through Boeing, uh, visit an aircraft carrier, land on that, and spend some time there, see the operations, I think, and I don't remember exactly what it was relating to engineering, but they wanted to bring um, <laughs> some of their employees to go check it out. And we were talking about it, and something that really impacted him to see, as well as me when we talked about it, is you're on an aircraft carrier, an active aircraft carrier, which is at sea and moving, and there are fighter planes worth like $70 million a piece landing on this thing with all kinds of people coordinating in a hostile, loud environment where everything has to be perfectly clean so it doesn't get intaked into an engine. And everything works well because it matters and there's a lot at stake. Forget national security and all. I mean, just the daily operations require you to do a job perfectly and coordinate with others and have a heck of a lot of respect. And they started talking and the, the big takeaway was, so you've got a naval aviator in, say like an F-18 Hornet, okay? And this person, person I say, male and female, that's kind of a neat thing. Um, this person is getting direction from another individual on the deck or on the radio, helping them navigate on this aircraft carrier, back it up. There's no fence, there's no guardrail from going off into the ocean. So this highly trained individual in this $70 million aircraft on the edge of a precipice over an ocean is taking direction for somebody that might be 20 some year old kid or somebody young. Somebody that is commanding them as to where to go and put that jet because it matters. And they're taking that direction and they're all working together as a team. It has nothing to do with that person's age or how much risk could be involved. It has to do with teamwork and doing a job right and having respect and caring about that, and everybody being part of a team that has a common objective. And that's something that I thought was so wonderful and so amazing, relating to the military in general, and getting things done. And is a trademark or a hallmark of what I like to bring here in Genius Garage that makes it different. We've got professional level racing cars. 
There's an Indy car behind the camera right now. It makes 840 horsepower at the wheels, 7,000 pounds of downforce. You know, our slow race car makes 700 horsepower and weighs that of a new Mini Cooper. And college kids who've never worked on anything and by industry standards or school standards wouldn't have the experience to do it, but we're a team with a common goal. And the students respect themselves and each other and the opportunity, and they have leadership. And it's that leadership that allows anybody an opportunity to do something incredible together. And it's something I just don't see in academia. Academia that's like, okay, children, today, uh, well, uh, shop class has been canceled and uh, home ec is gone and anything like that. So we're going to add some other college prep classes for you today, which is great. College is good. You need to do that. But we're going to take away all liability. Those scissors that you used to use, they're going to be plastic so you don't cut yourself. And uh, please turn in your pens and pencils because those are weapons and very dangerous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. I just think that, and I'm, I'm joking about schools, not all that way, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I think it's ridiculous that places exist where nobody is allowed an opportunity to do anything hands-on because everybody's first, oh, there's a super risk, you can't do that. Well, manage life. Let's do something, let's go somewhere. And the same holds true with cars. You know, everybody likes to take things away, take away opportunities and rights because they like to hide behind safety or something like that. Meanwhile, everybody suffers. Nobody gets to learn anything or go anywhere cool. So, I hope I articulated that half decently. But it was just a little thing about good leadership, good teamwork, and people that respect and care to do a job right. Something that I love having at Genius Garage, and I think it's why our students are so successful in real life, get jobs, and we do amazing things together. So for this channel, my YouTube channel, 10,000 subscribers, yes! Maybe I can like, you know, buy a sandwich now. <laughs> anyway, um, so my Dodge Viper matters to me. I had it a long time, love the car, it's really cool. And if it breaks, I gotta fix it. So naturally, I don't wanna hurt it. Don't wanna put anything at Jeopardy, the car in Jeopardy, or anybody else. But there's so many young people out there that like it and wanna experience something like that and care about it. And even if I can't share that with everybody out there, I'd at least like to share it with one person. And that one person, I think it should be somebody that can barely drive stick or hasn't gotten the chance to do it or has never driven stick. So somebody, I'd like you to apply, write me an essay as to who you are and what things matter to you, what matters to you and why you'd like to learn how to drive stick in the Viper. And what I'd like to see is this. First of all, you, you gotta have a driver's license, an actual one, okay? Um, preferably over 18, but if you're not, then I need your parents and legal guardians consent to learn how to drive stick shift. We're not racing, we're not doing anything crazy, you're just learning to drive a car legally, stick shift, got it? So that's the other thing. And here's the most important thing. If I'm gonna do this for you, and you're a good person that deserves this opportunity, then I wanna know in that essay what you as an individual, on your own accord, has done to better your community, your nation, your world, and other people's lives. I wanna know. How have you applied your time, effort, and individualism, how have you sacrificed to better something that you don't tangibly get a return for? That's what I wanna know. What are you doing for others? I know there's some amazing people of you out there. So, you know, you don't have to stand on a mountain shop and, and tout it because I think the best people don't talk about those things so much. But tell me about it. I might fact check you though. So don't give me a bunch of BS. <laughs> but if it sounds like fun, if you want to learn how to drive stick shift or you're not very good and you love sports cars and you want an opportunity and you're a good respectful person that's doing something for everybody else, then I might just give you the opportunity to do that in the Viper. Now, I can't necessarily afford to fly you from some far other portion of the world to drive it, and I'm in Northwest Ohio, so you, you gotta come to me. It's kind of part of it. Um, and that's that. If for some reason the car breaks while you're respectfully trying to learn how to drive, uh, it happens. I'm not gonna hold it to you. But if you come here and try to destroy my car on purpose, I'm probably not gonna be real happy, so don't do that. Um, so don't worry about that, guys. Um, I just want to give back to somebody for this great moment on YouTube of getting 10,000 subscribers. And uh, we'll do a YouTube video about it. So if you're bashful 
well then you might have to get over that because I'm going to make a YouTube video because it'll be fun. That should inspire other people to learn how to drive stick shift. We love vintage cars, right? Who can afford flappy paddle Ferraris? You know what I mean? So all the cool cars in history are stick shift. And uh, I think everybody should get to enjoy that. So we'll make a YouTube video too. But that's really it, guys. I just, uh, the big takeaway here is I'm touched that you all are watching, you care, and you're constructively commenting uh, or good-natured joking and ball busting is always fun. And uh, I'm gonna keep making more videos. We're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna try to learn something maybe together. And I'm going to shine lights on shadows that other people won't. <laughs> so maybe we can all gain some new perspective and go somewhere together in the car community. And of course, Genius Garage. I'm gonna use this as a platform to help promote Genius Garage, get young people um, to be part of it and learn and better yourself. And for all you young people that are out there all around the world, because I hear from you, other continents out there that maybe don't have the opportunity to come and be part of Genius Garage and learn something, well then I'd like to get some cool lessons and things going. And stuff that you can do and learn, even if you're not there, here on this channel, for free. What up? That's about the best I can do, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> I hope more people do. And of course, like it, comment, and subscribe. And uh, you can find me if you're smart. Let me know if you want to learn how to drive stick. Catch you guys next time.